In operation for over 30 years, Indivar is an integrated waste management company employing over 1,700 people across Europe. Our waste to energy facilities treat waste that cannot be reused or recycled. By using waste as a fuel to generate electricity, waste to energy provides a renewable and indigenous alternative to fossil fuels. Waste acceptance criteria ensures that only non-recyclable waste that is suitable for incineration is treated. In line with EU waste policy, there is a legal obligation to divert waste from landfill and move it up the waste hierarchy. Once weighed, the waste is delivered to the tipping hall in the waste to energy facility, where the load is emptied into the bunker and where it is mixed to ensure consistent feedstock. Facility operatives continuously monitor all activities in the control room. The waste is loaded into the hopper, which in turn feeds the waste onto the moving grate furnace. The furnace operates at a temperature of over 850 degrees Celsius to ensure the destruction of dioxins that form during the combustion process. After the incineration of the waste, metals are removed from the bottom ash and sent for recycling. The remaining non-hazardous bottom ash is sent for recovery off-site. Flue gases, which are caused by the burning of the waste material, need to be cooled, cleaned and continuously monitored before entering the atmosphere. Water is used to start the cooling process. Activated carbon, expanded clay and lime are added to remove the acid gases, dioxins and heavy metals before they are filtered to remove these additives and any dust particles. The dust particles and additives are collected in silos for treatment off-site. As the flue gases are released into the atmosphere, a water vapour condenses into a visible steam plume. The emissions from the stack are continuously sampled and analysed and this data is fed back to the control room. Our facilities strictly adhere to emission limit values enforced by local environmental agencies. A small portion of electricity is used in-house to power operations at the facility and the remaining electricity is exported to the grid for use in homes, businesses and industry. After driving the turbine, the steam is typically piped outside and cooled to condense into water and piped back into the plant for reuse in the electricity generation process. 